I've got two words for you. Hamburger and gravy. What could make you absolutely happier? If you're looking for a hearty combination, well, this hamburger gravy, oh, 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 this is the way to go, my friends. It's delicious, it's rich, it's creamy, it's delightful. Welcome to the Sauce and Gravy channel. This is Johnny Mac, and get ready for a hearty, delicious, comfort food combination. Hamburger gravy. Buckle up, my friends, let's go. All right, let's start on this masterpiece of a wonderful comfort food combination. Crank that burner up to medium to medium high heat. We're gonna start off with the ground beef. We're gonna go ahead and brown it. My ground beef is a little bit lean, so there's not much fat in it. So I'm putting a notch of butter and a little bit of oil to help the frying or sauteing process. So I'm using one pound or 500 grams of ground beef. Go ahead and grab it. Look at that, it's delightful. This is nice and lean, throwing it on in. It's a really good idea to use a flat-headed spatula. What you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna go ahead and smash all of this ground beef up. You're gonna wanna get it into nice, teeny tiny, small, nice bite-sized pieces. You want this ground beef to be really more or less just pulverized, so check it out. Taking that flat edge of that spatula, just working it in, just pounding it through that wonderful uh, piece of meat, just getting everything nice and well incorporated and breaking this up into nice and small, teeny tiny chunks, check it out. My friends, if you have not tried this hamburger gravy recipe, you're definitely going to have to try it. I guarantee you're gonna love it, you're gonna share it with your friends, it's easy to make, it feeds a whole family, you can make a lot, it just is absolutely hearty and delicious. You can make a bunch, save it for the rest of the week, it's just really easy to make and tasty. So you're gonna cook this ground beef down until there's just a teeny tiny bit of redness still remaining, so it's almost completely fully cooked. Once you get to the point where there's just a teeny tiny bit of red left, so a little bit of the meat that's not cooked, then at that point you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and you're gonna grab your white onions. You're gonna go ahead and throw those on in. This hamburger gravy recipe is so simple to make, it's so easy. Let's say you've come home from the office, you've had a hard day at work, you still have to make food for yourself or for your family. Well, this comfort food recipe is so quick and easy to make, all of the items are readily available. It just takes a couple minutes to whip this up. Plus, this is a little bit healthier option. It's homemade, and you can feed a large family a little bit more affordably with this homemade type option. We're using half of a cup of white onion, or 63 grams, chopped up to nice bite-sized pieces. It doesn't have to be uniform, just not too big. You don't want big chunks because you don't want to have a big chunk of onion in your mouth. But go ahead, throw those on in. Cook it down, you're gonna to wanna to saute them with the remaining portion of the meat that still needs to be cooked. By the time that little bit of red is done and everything is cooked, these onions are gonna be sauteed and nice and translucent as well. All right, my friends, so we're pretty much where we wanna be. The hamburger's cooked, nice teeny tiny pieces. The onions are translucent and tender. As you can see, I used lean meat, so there's not much fat in the bottom of the pan. If you're using a meat that has a little bit more fat, you might want to degrease, get a little bit of that fat out of the bottom of the pan. You don't want it too fatty. Now it's time to throw in a little bit of flour. This is our thickening agent. This is going to make this nice and thick and absolutely hearty and delicious. So we're using three tablespoons of flour, or roughly about 37 grams. Go ahead and incorporate that in. You're on medium to medium low heat now, my friends. You don't want to burn this, so we've turned the burner down to about medium to medium low. We're going to go ahead and incorporate that flour. Let it slowly cook with that meat for roughly about a minute to two minutes. You want to get that flour taste out, plus you want to get it incorporated in really nicely. Okay, my friends, so we've taken care of the flour. It's incorporated in. Now it's time to add a little bit of flavor. We're gonna throw in a little bit of beef bouillon. So one teaspoon of beef bouillon, or maybe one cube of beef bouillon. If you have a cube, just smash it up a little bit, throw it on in, incorporate it, get it mixed in. You're ready to go. Okay, and again, we're still over medium heat here, folks. And after we put in the bouillon, we're gonna throw in one cup of milk. So just one cup of milk, mix it all together, get it well incorporated, bring out those wonderful flavors, get that bouillon going, activate that wonderful flour so that it starts to thicken. 
stir this around. You're gonna do this for about mm, maybe around 30 seconds or so once it's all incorporated really well. Then we can head to the next step. For my next step, I'm adding some heavy cream, one cup of heavy cream. However, you can really just add two cups of milk all together and skip the heavy cream if you wish, but I love cream. I mean, this just makes this meal so hearty, delicious. Check it out. Look at that slow motion. I can just see the heartiness. I can see the comfort, happiness, delight, smiles. Oh, that just has delicious written all over it. So you just mix this in, incorporate it. We're still over medium heat. Bring it all together. Oh, but wait, my friends, the taste explosion is not over. W sauce, it's on the way. Here we go, one tablespoon of W sauce or Worcestershire sauce, go ahead, dump it out, throw it on in, my friends. Absolutely delightful, look at those flavors, look at that taste, it's going on in. And the flavor train, it's rolling on. We're gonna throw a little bit of low sodium soy, one teaspoon, in it goes, dynamite. Oh, and the anticipation is mounting. The delicious flavors are all starting to come together. It's just too much to bear. Just can't wait to dive into this absolutely delicious recipe. Oh, but don't worry my friends, this delightful recipe is almost done. It's really about just incorporating the flavors, warming it all up, letting everything come together really nice. And again, I'd just like to reiterate how quick and easy this is to make. And again, this is just really a cost-effective type recipe. Really costs nothing to do, and it tastes absolutely phenomenal. This gravy is absolutely wonderful over mashed potatoes. Goes great on any sort of rolls, biscuits, throw down a couple pieces of bread, maybe some buns, some hamburger buns. Put it over pasta, put it over rice. It's just really absolutely versatile. It tastes great, it's super hearty. It's wonderful comfort food. As always, my friends, you're gonna to wanna to taste it and adjust the seasoning. Throw in a little bit of salt if needed. Put a little dash of pepper if needed. Just wanna make sure that it's to your taste. Well, this hamburger gravy recipe, it was just easy. One, two, three. Throw in that beef, throw in the onions, throw in a little milk, cream, bouillon, the Worcestershire, the soy. Throw it all together, mix it up, season it to taste. It takes just a few minutes to whip this together. It'll feed a large family if you have a large family. And if you don't have a big family, but you wanna make a big batch of this and save it for your meals for the rest of the week, go for it. This is a perfect, delicious, hearty meal. Well, thanks for watching, my friends. I hope that you enjoyed the recipe. Please do feel free to leave your comments below. If you like sauces and gravies, whether they're savory or deliciously sweet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. There are more sauces and gravies to come. And remember, my friends, to live, love, and make gravy.